As a new segment here on LT News Update, here is Bill Allen with this week's Student Opinions. Hi, I'm Bill Allen and this is the Student Opinion segment of LT News Update. The subject of today's survey is the quality of underground newspapers. There are at present two underground newspapers here at LT, The Screaming Bohemian and The Blasphemous Pig. The Screaming Bohemian has put out several issues while The Blasphemous Pig has only put out one. Both were banned in December. School officials retracted the ban, however, in January. Now let's go ask some students what they think about the two papers. The good points, the bad points, the flaws, the comparisons, the contrasts, and the general quality of the two newspapers. Hi, I'm Frank Smith from Second Prairie Study Hall. And uh, I have read both of the papers, The Blasphemous Pig and The Screaming Bohemian. I find that The Blasphemous Pig is a much higher uh, in quality newspaper. So it's uh, got a laser printer instead of a uh, photocopy machine. And um, the articles, articles are much, much more in depth and uh, much more interesting. The uh, Screaming Bohemian is, uh, I don't know, it, it pales in comparison to, uh, to uh, Blasphemous Pig. Hi, I'm Katie Carr, and I'm in second period study hall, and I'm here to comment on the two underground newspapers at LT. Um, the Screaming Bohemian is very artistic, and it has a lot of poetry in it. And the Blasphemous Pig is Republican and pro-war-like. Well, the Blasphemous Pig, I find a little more interesting than the Screaming Bohemian through the content and neatness of it. The Screaming Bohemian consists of poetry, which is interesting to some people, but I find the Blasphemous Pig a little more interesting. The uh, information is more up to date, and it, attention, it attracts attention more of the younger crowd. Well, from what I've seen, the Blasphemous Pig seems very well put together, very neat, and the Screaming Bohemian just seems kind of slappy and homemade looking. Um, in my opinion, the Screen Bohemian has uh, lots of art and it has a lot of good poetry. Um, the Blasphemous Pig, it's really conservative and it's, it's really neat too. 